there are times where you'll be working with footage and maybe the footage is super high resolution. Maybe it's like 8K footage. It's coming in as a red file and it's um, extremely clunky with your machine. Your machine can't keep up with it. How can you work with it in a quicker, easier way? Uh, well, the answer is a proxy. And what is a proxy? So let me find, reveal this footage in the project window. There it is. So all I have to do is right click and go to create proxy and I can create a still if I would just want to work with a still within my After Effects project file or a movie. I can also make sure I'm highlighted here, file, create proxy here, same thing, still or movie. So I'm going to create a movie and what it does is it automatically creates a composition. It put this footage in a composition with the same settings. It created a, a render queue here and it says it's gonna default to draft settings and it's going to also default to a custom QuickTime output module. And I've noticed that by default, After Effects creates the output module animation for a proxy, which I don't want to work with. I want to work with a Apple Pro H422 file. What that's gonna do is create a very small file size. You can change this to whatever you want to, it to be. Bottom line is you want it to be very uh, draft quality and a lower uh, bit rate file so that it will play back on your machine uh, just fine. So from here, you would save where you want the file to save to. And where once you have it set up where it's gonna save, all you do is just hit render. So as soon as this proxy is done rendering, what's gonna happen is a little box is gonna appear right up here next to the footage. And that's how we're gonna know it's a it's a proxy. So there it is. So there's the little box. And I don't know if you noticed that the footage here changed quality. So I'm actually just gonna delete this off my render queue. I don't need this composition that was created. And if I come back in my proxy here, here's my footage. Here's the proxy in my timeline. How do I know it's a proxy? Well, if I come up here and I click this little box next to my footage, watch the quality of the footage here. Watch how it changes. There's the original, there's the proxy. The proxy is draft settings. Uh, like I said, it's ProRes 422, very low quality, original, proxy. So now I can really scroll through my footage here. It's gonna play back uh, really quickly. It's gonna uh, be much easier to work with versus the high res footage. Um, once I go to render, and let's say I set this to add to render queue, I'm ready to render it out. If you go into your settings here, you're gonna see there's a setting for proxy use. And by default, it proxy use is set to use no proxies. So you don't have to go back up here and turn this off to make sure it renders out full resolution. It's going to automatically by default, not use your proxy and use your full res file instead. Now, if for some reason you want to render out your proxy, all you have to do is change this to use all proxies and you are good to go. So that's how you use proxies to really speed up your workflow. It's a, it's a killer time saver. If for some reason you want to change your proxy or you want to uh, get rid of your proxy altogether, you can uh, set proxy, you can select file. From here, you can go select a different proxy file. If you want to turn it off completely, select none. The box is gone. You're back to full resolution footage. Pretty simple. Killer tip.